Welcome back to Fort Walton Beach Chamber Business Forum. It's hosted by our good friends Casey and Jerry here at Cox. We thank you very much for that. Folks, it's Impact 100 time. We have our longtime chamber member, Christine Carter, joining us today, wearing a different hat, and our new friend, Anita Skipper, who's also from Impact 100. So we're happy to have you here. Good thank to have you. you. Look fabulous. Thank you. Thank Christine, I want to start with you. I've known Carter and Company a while. Let's tell everyone what your real job is first. Well, uh, Carter and Company, CPAs, and Destin, so you can imagine how busy we are at this time of year. Yes. And, um, but it's all about the numbers for me, and we're glad to be a part of Impact 100. Um, Carter and Company is located over in Destin on the harbor, and um, our website is cartercpa.net, so if you're looking for accounting services, give us a shout. See that? That's a nice chamber promo right there. <laughs> and we had the, it'll be right there underneath there. It's it'll show the that, numbers. so that was good. And Anita, we just met you. What's your history? Uh, my history here on the Gulf Coast is I'm retired Air Force, and that's how I came to being in this area. Love the area, but I wanted to be a part of the greater good of the area. So uh, Impact 100 is a wonderful organization, and I'm just so lucky to be a part of it. It is. The greater good is a fa fabulous word because this is the third year, if I'm not mistaken, that we're going. Is it third year? Fourth, Fourth year, year we're going into it. Fourth, Fourth year. year. Christine, you've got to tell everyone mm -hmm. Impact 100. They may have heard about it, read in the paper. Let's talk about it. What is it? Thank you, Ted, and thanks again for having us. Um, Impact 100 is a group of women. It's a nonprofit organization, but it is a group of women that come together. They bring a membership fee of $1,000. Our goal is 100 women, $1,000, $100,000 grant for a nonprofit organization, either in Oakless or Walton County. Right. Um, this will be our fourth year. In the last three years, we've given away almost $600,000 in transformational grants to nonprofits service that uh, provide services to both counties. And we are just all about women. And it's so convenient to be on this program today because <laughs> we're about nonprofits and we're about women. So I like, I like that we're added into this. And um, we also have a website, impactnorthwestflorida.org. And uh, we welcome anyone to come visit our website, become a member, uh, give me a phone call if you have any questions, come to some membership event recruitment events and um, try to get us to reach to our newest goal of 300 members. Yeah, it, it's an amazing thing, Anita. Certainly, and again, mm -hmm. L.A. Uh, Woodall from Horizons wished she was here because he was one of the recipients last year, and he just could not say enough about it. And, and when you see L.A. at some of the chamber functions, please ask him about it because it is amazing. Now, we mentioned it was initially Impact 100. Now you had 250 members, so it's passed. Do you think it would ever change to impact 300 or impact 400 or impact 500? Absolutely. Our goal this year is 300 members. Got it. And what that happens for, uh, or what that will result in is three grants of $100,000. That's, right. That's wonderful. And so we are on track. Our, our membership deadline is one May. And so we have events up until that time, great opportunities for women to come out into the community, different events to learn more about Impact 100. And one of the things that we really like to stress about Impact 100 is that 100% of membership goals goes directly to the receiving organization. Our board is 100% voluntary. All of our administrative costs are covered through uh, individual donations, friends of Impact 100, organizations that just want to be a part of it, um, and then men that want to help, but because this is an all uh, female organization, that's how they can help too. Yeah, well, they, they can, you know, and, and it's amazing because I know it's made up of women, but if I'm not mistaken, Christine, most of the winners have been present presentations by men. <laughs> have, that's for correct. For the most part. That's so, correct. what are some? Who are some of the people that have won in the last couple of years? Okay, uh, let's see. Our first year, we awarded one hundred and twenty-eight thousand dollars to the Judge Ben Gordon Visitation right. Center. It's in the north north end of the county. They purchased a new building to have another location. And the second year, we awarded two grants of 110000 each, one to Destin Harvest and one to the Emerald Coast Wildlife Refuge. Right, right. Then this last year, we awarded again two grants of $125,000. So the two, you see how the 250 gets exactly right, in two. Right. And those grants went to Horizons and to Shelter House. And um, Shelter House, of course, has already come and gone. They've got their, their new location and they've got their paint. and. Um, the thing about the grants is, Ted, is they are transformational grants. Absolutely. They are not, um, let's keep the lights on, let's you know clean the carpets, paint the walls. It is something different. It's impactful to the community. It's outside the box. When we, uh, in our membership drive on May 1st, we'll know how many grants we can donate. 
Then we will start with our grant workshops and how to apply for a grant with impact. We hope to have two, one in each county. Great. Then we'll have a grant drive, so to speak, inviting all the nonprofits in Oklahoma and Walton County to submit grants. That will be up into probably July 15th, July 20th. Then, and Anita can get into this more, we have um, five different categories that you can apply right. for a grant. We have committees made up of the women of impact that actually go on site, do site visits. We review the grants, everybody gets a site visit, then they come back and they decide out of all the um, submits, all the grants that were submitted, which one they think would be the best to go up against the other four categories. November is our membership meeting. Every woman gets a vote. So one woman, one vote. And then that's how we decide who we give our grants to. It's an amazing process, Anita. We were chatting earlier about the, the process of the, the, the committees going out. Let's elaborate on that because that was one of the parts that you found most uh, special about the group. Yes. The committees for Impact 100 do not just look at a paper product because with grant application, uh, that is the first level is we receive right. the, the written application. We then review the applications to make sure that they're qualified as a legitimate nonprofit organization. Then each committee <clears throat> is con uh, consists of roughly 10 to 13, 14 women. Those women then physically go to the site of each applicant and they shake hands with the people that are doing the day-to-day -day work. They meet the faces of the individuals that are receiving the benefits. Um, they see the conditions of the facilities, the grounds, the conditions of the supplies that they're using. And it, this makes it real. It really tugs at the heartstrings that there is this great need. And when you've lived in the area for a while, you think you really know what's going on. But the women that go on these um, visits, they're like, I've lived here for years and right. didn't know that this building served this purpose. So it's eye-opening, it's endearing, and it just makes it real and personal. And then the women come back from all the site visits, and then we discuss who has the greatest need and who can make the greatest impact for the community. And then we select a finalist, and then the finalists come to the November meeting and get to present their um, presentation. And a vote is handled immediately, and a winner is now announced immediately. It's an amazing yeah. process, and we could talk about it all day. Christine <coughs> Carr, anything else? One last thing on the Impact 100. Visit our website, impactnorthwestflorida.org. Great to sign up for it, folks. Uh, go to the website. May 1st is a deadline, and by November, some businesses or some organizations, their total mission is going to be changed. Mm -hmm. Folks, the Chamber of Commerce is a great uh, business organization. Please join us, fwbchamber.com. Thanks to Anita and Christine and our other guests over there for joining us. We'll see you and L.A. Woodall next month on here on the Business Forum.